Hey everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com. And now that I've taught close to 100 lessons in the HD Piano Catalog, I can safely say that not all piano parts are created equal. Certainly, some are more difficult than others. But while there are those that might be reserved for our more advanced users, countless others draw from the same tried and true techniques of piano accompaniment. So in this video, I'm gonna break that down for you guys and show you some of the most common patterns that I've discovered after dissecting hundreds of popular tunes. All right, so we're gonna keep it simple. A handful of basic chords in the key of C major or the relative A minor. But pay attention to the chord symbols because with just a little extra knowledge of theory and harmony, any of these songs can be transposed to another key. But we'll get to that some other time. Piano is considered to be part of the rhythm section, so it's no surprise that it can provide a percussive backdrop when played short and in the high register. Played over a 4-4 groove, this technique can be found in hip-hop to contemporary pop. And despite being rhythmically straight, it often hints at this uh, kind of underlying swing feel. So all you need are a few triads in your right hand, and you can play along to Katy Perry, this is her song, Roar. Or, Dr. Dre. Just roll those chords a bit. Just A minor to E minor. Or, Mama said that it was okay. Mama said that it was quite all right. Mama said by Lucas Grant. Add a little pedal and change the pattern, we get Empire State of Mind. Change our groove to 6 8, and we get that classic soul sound that can be found in everything from Etta James at last to Megan Trainers, like I'm gonna lose you. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you and I'm gonna hold you like I'm saying goodbye I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen is also in a 6-8 feel we we'll just simplify that piano part and just play the chords but when we don't feel like playing every note together in our right hand, we can arpeggiate like this. That way we can kind of lament over the chords and really feel like we experience each chord tone on their own. This technique can be found everywhere from Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata to Bruno Mars's most desperate song, Grenade. One, two, three, four. Just D minor to A minor downward arpeggios. Easy come, easy go. Or, set fire to the rain by Adele. To the rain, watch it burn. Or, how to save a life by the fray. Or the luckiest by Ben Folds. or Faded by Alan Walker. This time, the left hand takes care of the arpeggiation. When we want to make one note jealous of the others, I recommend this technique, which alternates between a single note and a pair of notes in a triad. That way, we still get the thickness of the chord, but we get that motion of the interchanging notes. This technique can be found anywhere from the Beatles, Let It Be, to, all my friends are heathens, take it slow. Heathens by 21 Pilots. Or another one of their songs called Stressed Out. I know we have a lot of 21 Pilots fans with us here at HD Piano. Oh, let's see, what else? Same bed, but it feels just a little bit bigger now. 
When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars, or Home Sweet Home by The Motley Crue. Sometimes all you need is a healthy dose of pop, punchy quarter notes in the right hand over a fat, syncopated bass line in the left hand. Countless artists have piano-driven hit songs featuring this technique. This is Cold as Ice by Foreigner. You're gonna recognize this next one. Love Song by Sarah Bareilles. One more time. I'm All Over It Now by Jamie Cullen. Or, Just Haven't Met You Yet by Michael Bublé. Short People by Randy Newman. You'll hear me talking a lot about the pop clave in many of my tutorials. That's because it's just such a common rhythm in music these days. Ed Sheeran, Sia, you name it. If it's on the mainstream radio, it probably features the pop clave, and it's a rhythm that gets its origins from reggaeton. You can play it in both hands like this, or simplify and just hold out the left hand and play the pop clave in the right hand. This is Shape of You. Come on, come on. Turn the radio on. Cheap Thrills by Sia. And here's uh, Let Me Love You by Justin Bieber and DJ Snake. Oh, 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 oh. But you don't need a rhythmic piano part to write a hit song. Just whole notes and half notes will do. You let the drums do the rest. This is Sorry by Justin Bieber. Just uses F major, A minor, and G. We speed it up a little bit. We get I Can't Feel My Face by The Weeknd. Same three chords in just a slightly different order. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry no more. Or starting on C major, can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake. C major, A minor, and F. Inside my bones, it goes electric. Right? Or at a bass line, you get Forget You by CeeLo Green. I see you driving around town with the girl I love, and I'm like, Forget You. Well, that's all we have time for in this video, but I hope it gives you an idea of just how many songs draw from the same tried and true techniques of piano accompaniment. It really is a beautiful instrument, and there are hundreds, if not thousands of songs waiting to be played that are a lot more approachable than you might think. So head on over to hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson, and see what we have in store. This is Devin, thank you for watching. <laughs>